Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. I'm Scott. Bart. McAllen, Classic Cut 2022 Edition. Ooh, continuing the range. We're going to test it. McAllen Cask Strength Style. Mm. <laughs> All right. I don't know what that was. That was like a caveman grunt. Yeah, well, yeah, it was. It. I was waiting for you to buck it. The classic cut began in 2017, which we reviewed. Was that the brown? Was that the no, first not, one? no, that's edition one. That's oh, a, that's the second series. This is the cast right, strength one right. annual release that yeah, they do. That was totally crazy. Uh, we did 2017, but I think that's the only one we did. I, I saw 2018, we never picked it up. And then I've never seen 2019, 2020, or 2021 editions. You know what I was doing? I was still thinking one. of uh, the fan gene. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> well, that's not very much there. You taking it easy? Yes. For me, a little bit more than that. Okay. Uh, anyway, yeah. So this now, I so I will tell you, and I should have brought the 2017 edition to show. Oh. This one's a lot paler. Okay. And this one's still this, screw. No, huh? they just no. it's just a cork. Didn't it used to have a screw tight? No. See, Highland I don't care Park. about those little things. I, well, yeah. I know Highland Park. Yeah. Maybe that's the one that confused me that one time. My corn be. fused, I think, is what you said. Yeah, you were corn fused. <laughs> um, this one is a lot paler than the 2017 edition. And looking at, so the 2017 edition talked about how it was matured in exclusive sherry casks from Jerez, Spain, blah, blah, blah. Got it. This one says blah, matured blah, blah, blah. in an exquisite union of oak Ooh. casks bottled to reveal a full and heightened flavor. Can so I nothing yada, about yada. nothing about sherry. Got it. Can I yada yada yada? Yeah. Oh. Blah blah blah. <laughs> but you can see it. I'm hoping there's. I haven't even tried this yet. I'm hoping there is some Macallan yep. sherry to this. But there's obviously just some a lot of ex bourbon in here as well. You're getting good. Just from color. Have yeah. you sampled? No. Uh -uh. We just. No. Nope, that's what I said. Mm. I haven't had Not it yet. All. So I can smell it. It smells citrusy. It's a little more muted than I thought it was going to be. Oh, yeah, that was maybe deep you, inhalation. Yeah, was a deep you like inhalation. It. Yeah, I was bringing. You I, got your bigger, nose. I got big lungs. Your nose was like all up in the glass, too. Uh, uh, I know, and it didn't get me. I'm, what's the 50 proof again? 52.5. 52 That's surprising. Yeah. Right? Actually, Plus, with the inhalation, I thought oh, it was going to be a, a right. 43. Really light citrusy. <laughs> that was another heavy. Slight cinnamons, <laughs> vanillas. Yeah, slight. I'd say slight on all that. Slight vanilla, yeah. slight cinnamon, a little bit of that malty hay. Fresh Monet. Fresh Monet. I was like, what's he saying? There I got a little bit of honeycomb, but everything's yeah, a little bit. Honeyed. It's a little of this, a little of that. Yeah. Light yeah. citrus fruits, powdered sugars. Okay, yeah, that's good. Light powdered sugar. There's a little nuttiness. Oh, got a little nuttiness. I didn't get the nut. I got a little more vanilla. All right, yeah. that's good though. That vanilla honey, it's, I like. Yeah, there's not a lot of sherry jumping out here. If there is any involved, mm -hmm. oh, it'd be weird to see just a burb, ex bourbon cask Macallan. Ooh, wow, a lot of creamy vanilla right right away. Mm. Great mouthfeel. Hmm. Wow, butterscotchery, <laughs> butterscotchery, and then. Honey, honey treckle all the way. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is good. Hold on. Why did I pour so light? <laughs> <laughs> you were right, sir. You were right. What was I thinking? Yeah, was... First first sip of, on the palate of the day there. Very nice. But yeah, a lot of a lot of citrus fruits, vanillas, a little bit of creme brulee, yeah. caramels. A lot of ex bourbon character mm. here. Boy, that is nice with a malty little underlay in the finish here. Wow. Mm. Very, very nice creme brulee finish. That's really good. Looking for the sherry. Mm -hmm. If there's some here, it's very faint, very light <laughs> for a Macallan. The, so probably almost similar to the edition number three, which was the yellow label See, that know. was more ex-bourbon cask than Ooh, sherry. I just got a little bit of the nuttiness. Mm -hmm. That's the first time that came through. Hmm. Yeah. What about the exquisite union? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're liking the exquisiteness? <laughs> wow. I didn't get any of that nuttiness on the first sip, and boy, did I get it there. Hmm. 
a little bit of water for me you want to drop a little bit of char a little bit of more smoke char no that's good okay. for now citrusy light citrus okay still not picking um, up citrus i think on the box it said grapefruit but i don't know it's mm. it's lighter orange wow i'm not getting all those fruits yeah i mean it's it's citrusy it's fruity hmm. um nuttiness looking for any of the the sherry influence if it's here it's very faint very light could be contributing to some of that sweetness a lot of if, if anything this feels 70 80 percent ex bourbon maybe 10 20 percent wow look at you sherry going for percentages yeah i mean it's light i'm just saying it's light you're good. light light okay with the water i'm not getting as much of the honey sweetness or vanilla more of the nutty characters coming out mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. hmm. I'm still not picking up some of those. Maybe a touch of tropical. I don't know if I could go any more than that. Yeah, a touch. Which would be, maybe that's from some of the hmm. sherry. That's, oh, it does say something. Let's see what it say about sherry here. Small words. The McAllen Whiskey Mastery Team. Wow. WMT. Ooh. I mean, a w M W M T <laughs> McAllen Whiskey Mastery Team oh, wow. has created this expression to perfectly complement the sweet lightness brought by ex bourbon casks okay. with the depth and complexity of the McAllen's sherry seasoned oak casks. Mm. This limited expression delivers a full flavored and memorable whiskey to savor. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's very, very, very light um, sherry influence here. Maybe making some of that nuttiness. A little bit of the, hmm. maybe a, a hint of that tropical fruits. So a little bit of char. Um, good, but I I enjoyed the first sip better than the third. Um, I liked it better with the sweet vanilla creme brulee, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I don't know, not the nuttiness is good. It's all still. Nice, but I, I like that first sip better than the follow-on. So I would do mm. no water. Ooh, ah. mm. Ooh, Even ah. I, I, I added a little bit bigger drop of water, and I still like it. Mm. It's um it's expanding on like the palate it. a little bit. I think the water definitely helped it. Mm, really? Maybe we'll start to reveal some of the sherry in it now with the water. Okay. Maybe or, it breathe. Or maybe yeah. Maybe let the sherry. Maybe if it show had some exquisite breath. <laughs> that had a, a gentle marrying of exquisite breathe. <laughs> like your your inhalation method was right. exquisite. <laughs> it was like I call that the Hoover. <laughs> We're going to give it the full Hoover treatment. <laughs> well, I just kept not getting anything, and I because you know you come in timid, you don't want to get the nasal burn from the from the alcohol outgassing, and then I wasn't getting it, wasn't getting it. Then even I noticed that's a lot of inhalation. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I did inhale. <laughs> I just got some raspberry. Uh, kind of a raspberry with water now. It's probably bringing that out. That's probably some of the sherry now. I never got raspberry. Ooh. Yeah. I know. Sweet cream. Yeah. That's what I want to get back to. Mm-hmm. Huh. Let me see. Yeah. I've re-poured. Mm. I'm ready to score it. Um, all right. Neat. I'm getting the cream back on top here. I like it. Yep. And there's the sweeter vanillas again. So that's what I wanted to see because this is a solid 90 with my first taste. It was actually dropping down. The nut was good, but I wasn't liking that sour nutty flavor as much. I would drink this neat and neat. It's a 90. Ooh. Yeah. Where are you at? 90. Got it. Yep. I didn't get all those other expressions you got as far yeah. as the tropicals, other than maybe a hint. Well, and I think that's because with McAllen, I expect I want a little bit more sherry. I want some of that McAllen sherry goodness. Mm. Um, 90 is my benchmark for really good whiskey, starting at 80 for a score. This right. one uh, boosts yeah. up. It's really yeah. good we whiskey. We start at 80, and that's good whiskey. That's like yeah. the bottom of the good. And then as we, and I, what I did was I got nervous. I was thinking 90 right from the jump. Mm -hmm. Then I started to get 
those nuttier flavors. And I was like, ah, and it was dropping, but now it's back. That's good. I so play around with this one. 2017, 2018, these were You're looking 80, at prices. 90 dollars. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Oh, Hadn't Lord. seen it for a few years. Oh, Lordy. Did it, did it go 180? 150. Oh, Lord. Have mercy. That's a pretty good increase. 50, a 50% 50 yeah, increase I over three or four years. I've known you long enough. When you started dropping the numbers, I thought this could yeah. be a bump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is going to be a bump. I did expect it to be a little bit higher. I thought maybe it was going to be 110, 120. So I, I, was, I was surprised at the 150. And looking yeah. online, 160 to 180 is actually kind of average, it looks like, online. I wouldn't pay that. So, but you know um, me. You know me. Well, there's I'm simple. Think, okay. So a lot of people wanting to complete their collections or keep the annual editions. Now, come on. You, you're going to buy it. You're going to keep it, and down the road, it's going to be worth more money. Not to me, because I'm going to crack it. I'm going to crack it. Can't do nothing with it once you crack it. And then you're going to kill it over the I'm weekend. Kill it. What he's referencing. Was that Westland? What was that called? That was the marriage it's the of new, everything. It's what's the, the new? new um, they, it was the American single, or no, it's yes. American single malt. Okay, because that's, the new that's one. their new. It used to be American oak, right? And then they, they used to have the sherry, and then they used to have the peat something, and now yeah. it's just one deal. I was a little lukewarm, and then I got to try my older ones, and I was like, wow! And then I set it upstairs. Upstairs is the danger zone, because upstairs it's liable to get an ounce pour at night. That bottle is gone in about what what's Christmas. been twenty days. Yeah, Christmas time off. I was like, I'm gonna have a little more of that. So <laughs> enough of that. But that bottle's toast, baby. So interesting. That is good. I like it. It's way too pricey for me, but nice. Yep. All right. Scotch God shout out. Well, I was wondering if you had that up and ready. Tell them about Patreon. So I'm Patreon, doing. if you go to Patreon, it's the way we purchase these bottles. You go to Patreon, you look up Scotch Test Dummies, you find us, you can support for as little as a dollar. You can, a dollar a month, you can ramp that up to a dollar a video, $10 a video. You can cap it wherever you want. You can do anything you want with a gimmick. So if you can afford a dollar, it'd be great. And we're only going to flash it. Patreon supporters got a little Christmas holiday card. Boom! That's it. We did have one fan. I won't say who. He said it lasted for 60 minutes on the front of his fridge. He magneted the card to the fridge. The wife saw it at about 60 minute mark. It was like, mm -mm. nope. She did not <laughs> want. Yeah, she did not want that. Boom! Up on the fridge. It says Merry Christmas. Happy holiday. Yeah, is it Merry or Christmas? Happy holidays. Yeah, I went with Happy holidays. Oh. I don't think it was the greeting. It might have been the Pikachu hat or the Bob Ross fro. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Just saying. It's a good looking card. Just saying. It was good. No, no, no. Who do we got? Oh. Who do we got? Uh, two dollars. It came in yes. at two dollars and fifty euros. So we're gonna shout with some gusto. Shout, Euros shout about out. even with the dollar yeah, right now. now. I like yeah. it. It may end up like yeah. Canadian money and be less. Yep. <laughs> so I got to take a look. All right. Are you ready? Yep. Daniel, Daniel Williams. Williams. Woo! Thank you for being a supporter on Patreon. If you yep. support or anyone else out there, we can $2, get a little shout with gusto. Three, you can even send us a photo as long as you covered a pickle. That's right. It's the only requirement. Go to scotchtestdummies.com. You can pick up glasses, dropper yes. sets, hats, shirts. Not that hat, not that shirt. But coins, while they last, we got to be down to, what, 30 of these. <laughs> this is the offensive coin. We're, Salute to 2020 with the lone need, soldier. We, need to, I think we do need to cask number six. We're Ooh, getting, we're getting, we got to do it. We got to get on it. Got to get on it. Scotch it. You scotch gods. Slauncha. Dummies. Dummies. Woo.